For several years, Kingdom Hearts fans have asked for a true sequel to Kingdom Hearts 2. Tired of several portable game releases and wishing for a true home console title, Kingdom Hearts 3 seemed to be the only option left to rejoice the series fanbase. After waiting for so many years, and when we least expected it, Square Enix decided to hear their fans, and thus, KH3 was finally revealed at E3 2013. The reaction was brutal. Many fans laughed, smiled, and some others even cried tears of happiness while watching the debut trailer of Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, we're just a few days away from E3 2014, and it seems that KH3 will appear once again at the Electronic Entertainment Expo. Therefore, the question comes to mind. How can Square Enix top last year's E3 reaction? There are several things that could be included in E3 2014 trailer, and there is no better way than asking the fans community what they'd wish to see. This is where this video comes in at. Welcome to my top 5 most wanted things in Kingdom Hearts 3 E3 2014 trailer. Number 5. New and Returning World While E3 2013 reveal trailer was unexpected, the truth is it let us wish and ask for more in terms of world's exploration. Even though it was amazing to see Twilight Town with next-gen graphics, it's undeniable that fans want to see more than that this time around. Of course we want to see some original KH worlds make a comeback. We do want to see how some of our favorite worlds could look like in these next-gen consoles. Twilight Town was a great start, but what about Traverse Town? Or the world that never was? Where's Olo Bastion, aka Radiant Garden? And I'm not even mentioning some of the classic Disney worlds we already visited in the past. I'm sure we'd like to see some of them again. However, Kingdom Hearts 3 will be a major release title in the series, and as so, it deserves to receive several new worlds. There are many Disney classic worlds that haven't been explored yet, and which the fans would like to see. I'm thinking about Toy Story, for example, and even another favorite of mine, Treasure Planet. And that's not only it, there's more to the list. Several new Disney movies have been released since KH2 came out and will fit the Kingdom Hearts universe perfectly. The Princess and the Frog, Tangled, Brave, Wrecked Ralph, and finally, Frozen. I can't say this enough, but Frozen must be in Kingdom Hearts 3. Not only it's one of the most successful Disney movies that has come out in a recent time, but it's also an Academy Award. A movie that, just like the Kingdom Hearts series, has gained a huge fan base. You just have to check on the internet to see that everyone wants to see Frozen in the next Kingdom Hearts game. I, for example, even manifested my opinion on the comment section of the Let It Go music video on YouTube, and I immediately gained many thumbs up for it. I'm sure many people will be pleased with the ID. Square Enix and Disney, make it happen! Number 4. New and Returning Characters we all love Sora, Donald and Goofy, after all they've been our most used companions throughout the series. However, the Kingdom Hearts franchise is made of so many characters that it will be a waste not to see them at E3 2014. That's right, we need to see some more characters this time around. Riku must be there. Axel, aka Lee, must also show up. Yancy, Mickey, Terra, Ventus, Aqua, the new Organization 13, and last but not least, Master Xenort. After all, without him, this series wouldn't exist to begin with. Besides, we can't leave behind our beloved Final Fantasy characters. We can't forget the entire franchise started as a crossover between Final Fantasy and Disney. And just like any other crossover, Kingdom Hearts is a rich ecosystem of characters. Therefore, KH3 will not only have the major role to pay tribute to some of its dearly beloved characters, but it will also add to create a big and expanded cast. Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII characters are great, but right now we need more than that. We want more classic Final Fantasy characters to show up this time. It will be amazing to see old heroes shine again in a next-gen console. Why not bring more characters from Final Fantasy IV, for example? We can't forget Cecil, which used to be a Dark Knight and fought against his own darkness to become a paladin. And what about Kane? That guy reminds me of Riku a lot. The concept will fit Kingdom Hearts universe perfectly. And what about Final Fantasy VI? Even though Setzer looked great as a struggle champion in KH2, it will be awesome to see more characters join the list. I'm thinking about Kefka as a possible substitute to Sephiroth. It will be great to fight against him in a boss battle. 
Newer Final Fantasy characters could also make an appearance. Lightning from Final Fantasy XIV, Noctis and Stella from Final Fantasy XV, and even characters from Final Fantasy Type-0. And while we're at it, why not bring some characters from other Square Enix titles? The World Ends With You cast was an awesome addition to Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. And of course, I'm not even talking about new Disney characters. But I guess you could imagine which I would like to see, taking in consideration what I mentioned previously in number 5. Number 3. New Gameplay Mechanics it was nice to see Sora in action at E3 2013, but most of the footage we saw back then seemed more like a pre-rendered cutscene than real gameplay footage. Square Enix did show up some gameplay later on at D23 Expo, but still what we saw in most of the cases seemed more like reminiscence of KH2 gameplay. Of course, the Disney Pirates edition was presented, but still, they felt a bit out of place somehow, mainly because we still don't know much about them. This time we need to see some more gameplay and understand how some of these mechanics really work and how they fit the storyline of the Kingdom Hearts series. Are these summons or something else? What about that Twin Gun Keyblade transformation? What is it exactly? Will Dry Forms make a comeback? Is the gameplay much similar to Kingdom Hearts 2 or will there be any other major changes to the way we swing our Keyblade? Will we be able to use slow motion like we did in Grim Drop Distance? Is the game going to use the command system like Birth by Sleep and DDD? Or are we going to use a more classic combat approach like KH2? What about multiple playable characters? These are some of the questions we'd like to see answered this time, and there's no better way to do it than showing us some more gameplay footage of Kingdom Hearts 3. Number 2. Utada Ikaru There are several things that made the Kingdom Hearts series become such an amazing and beloved franchise in the video game industry. The gameplay experience, the story, the cast of characters, the concept of mixing two different amazing worlds together, and of course, the music. Kingdom Hearts is known for its fabulous soundtrack. Yoko Shimomura, the composer behind most of the tracks that are part of the series, does a wonderful job in making the music of Kingdom Hearts memorable. In fact, Dearly Beloved will be forever a track that touches the hearts of the fans. However, there's also another major protagonist in making the audio of Kingdom Hearts something to remember for decades, and that is none other than Utada Ikaru. While Simple and Clean and Passion, aka Sanctuary, have been present for a long time in the series, it's time to see a new Kingdom Hearts main theme. KH3 deserves a new track that makes justice to its name, and there's no better person to do it than Utada Ikaru. Fans have waited for a long time, and it will be amazing to see her return at E3 2014. Number 1. Release Date There is no doubt at all that Kingdom Hearts 3's reveal at last year's E3 was mind-blowing. It literally came out of nowhere and nobody predicted it. The game that so many passionate fans have been waiting for years was finally presented to them. Not only we knew that Kingdom Hearts 3 was a reality, but we also learned that it was at last in development. Now, even though it is great to know that the final chapter of the Zen North Saga is already being developed, Gamers are craving for more information. The fans want to know exactly when is the game going to be released. And here comes a dilemma. Do we really want Kingdom Hearts 3 to come out as soon as possible, taking the risk of having a rushed and unfinished game in hands, or do we prefer to wait a bit more for it? Either way, all KH lovers would at least like to know when they can expect the game to be released. And that's exactly what I'd like to know as well at this year's E3. I'm not asking for a specific release date, but at least give us a release window, a time gap when we can expect the game to come out. It's true, the game may still be in an early stage of development. After all, Square Enix is working in so many important projects at the moment. Final Fantasy XV is one of these titles. So, it's logic to assume that we won't be seeing Kingdom Hearts 3 any sooner. But you have to admit that if Square Enix decide to finish their E3 2014 trailer with an expected release window instead of just a now in development message, the fans base reaction will be even better than what we saw last year. Bonus Round Sephiroth Now I know this was supposed to be a top 5, but the truth is I really want to make this honorable mention before ending the video. If there's a character that we definitely want to see make a comeback in Kingdom Hearts 3, it's Sephiroth. Even though I'd love to see Kefka gaining some recognition and become a secret boss as well, there's no denying that Cage 3 without Sephiroth will be pretty messed up. Sephiroth is a character that provokes mixed emotions. We simultaneously love him for being so cool and powerful, but at the same time we hate him for giving us such an headache. 
This guy appeared twice in the series, first in Kingdom Hearts 1 and once again in KH2, and both times he was harder to defeat than the final boss of each respective game. His battle style is unique, and maybe that's why we respect him so much. Even though defeating him is a challenging task, it's one challenge that we're willing to repeat. Sephiroth, we're waiting for you in Kingdom Hearts 3. Alright guys, I guess that's pretty much it for this video, but before I go I'd like to ask if you agree with this top 5. Would you add anything else to this list? What else would you like to see in the next Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer? How excited are you for E3 2014? Personally, I can't wait for it. Anyway guys, if you like this video and enjoy my sexy voice, you can always subscribe to my channel for more Tom 5 videos, let's plays, as well as the latest Kingdom Hearts news. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.